Beautiful Saji, and how are you today? I know, surprise, surprise! This is an extra reading, and next week's readings are going to come up as well. I'll go and start them tomorrow, and it will be different than usual. I think it will be really nice what I've got in mind for uh, next week's readings. But this is your seven month reading. Well, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot, as you all know, and for the new people, welcome to this channel. I do go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday, but if something comes in between, I don't. As today, I really need to get these finished, because I've got to start the weeklies for next week. And the, I am very busy, so I hope you forgive me. Uh, I can't do uh, 12 vi uh, videos in one day. So that's why I've got a life besides this as well, and I need to keep everything in tune. So that's why I have to do it bit by bit. I can't just do it, it's too exhausting. Because things do work, uh, start working once I start working with the cards. Sometimes you just get extra messages. If you are a faithful follower, like a cyber angel, then you will know that. You will have experienced it. I know I'm sorry it didn't go live uh, yesterday, but I will go live tomorrow. I must. I have to keep my promise. If you're new, welcome to the channel, and I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all, and then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up and when I go live. I do give away free cards, but I also answer questions if they are supported by a donation. Super chat or super sticker. Now, there is a new episode today uh, up and running on the Witches series, the Dutch Witch series, and we talk about Marla Brooks, the Witches Oracle deck, and even more things. So uh, we've got beautiful followers there as well, and if you enjoy of the alternative life like medicine, witchcraft, uh, herbs, oils, uh, meditation, then please go and have a look. And if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, then please have a look below this video. You can find the information in the description box or click on this white little circle in the screen. I'm doing one card for each month, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And uh, here we go. We'll start with the first card, and the first card is the Three of C. And that is in June. Wow! The Three of Cups, so you are going to celebrate. It could be, no, 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 Sagittarius, that's your opposite sign, Gemini. Okay, you might know a Gemini, and you might be invited to a birthday party, or you might be uh, organizing a surprise birthday party for a Gemini. Okay, um, but there will be celebrations. Perhaps you're celebrating a new home, getting married, or whatever. Let's see what the reading is going to say. Okay, and you are trying to balance perhaps your heart and mind like all of us do because we are in this lockdown and it is easing up. So perhaps you're trying to balance work because the kids are at home, taking the right time uh, to take care of the kids and if they are really small then uh, you can they have a nap and then you can work or perhaps you have uh, your partner at home and they can look after the kids and then you swap places as he might be or she might be working from home too. But this could also mean balancing the finances and as it might be very tight or difficult at the moment, it is very very difficult for everybody. Believe you me, a lot of people have lost their jobs, especially in America. So perhaps you're trying to look for a new job whilst you're in lockdown. And I also get a message, your head might be going round and round and round. So come out of your head. Come into action. You've got reason to celebrate. Woo and in July you have the Two of Cups. 
you might be with your soulmate or you might meet a new soulmate you are in emotional balance so you are balancing your finances and you are balancing your emotions even though it is tough so you've got a 2-2 two, two, so it's a double number the angels are bringing you uh, luck believe it or not although you have the nine of wands you have come through the walls uh, the last few steps are the heaviest but you're taking a rest before you move on nine is an ending and where there is an ending there is a new beginning that is in July and look at this and August is confirming it it could be a new job it could be a new home it could be a birth because you've got an ace of pentacles you might have made an investment and might be seeing a return and you might be making a new investment like buying a house you could also be meeting a Capricorn a Taurus or a Virgo everything is possible there is a new beginning and it is durable and for long term Now, if you are teaming up with um, uh, an Earth sign, you have the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the wheel. So, you might be going out now and seeing uh, an Earth sign. Then in um, uh, August, you might take it up a notch. You might be moving in with them you might be getting engaged or you might be engaged and getting married if in your job you might get a promotion because the wheel moves round and it's moving up a spoke perhaps two okay what goes round comes round what goes up must go down it's in coming to an end something is coming to an end here you've got an end and here you've got an end, here you've got a new beginning. Where there is an end, there is a new beginning. Now this is also my karma card. If you've done good or bad, you'll get it back threefold. If somebody's done it to you, they will get it back threefold. Definitely in August. Ooh, you might feel left out because this is the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles Oh, sorry, this is the Four of Sky. Sorry, it looks a lot like the card, um, like the Five of Pentacles. But this is the Four of Sky. That's the Four of Swords. Now, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's feathers. And feathers, of course, that's sky. The birds fly in the sky. Okay, so in September, it is advisable to take time out to meditate and contemplate. And when you do contemplation or meditation you have an open mind okay so balance balance that mind of yours. come out of your mind you were there in June so don't go back there in um, September but keep your open mind as um, when you contemplate you might get new ideas write them down and evaluate the situation something will become clear to you because you've got the king of cups and he stands for justice he stands for wisdom knowledge he is eager to learn and he also stands for uh, communication so you might get a new idea and you might go straight to the core and get uh, the truth clarity this could be the king of uh, swords is a Gemini now where did I where did I see Gemini 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 um, the two of cups no I didn't see Gemini yes I did here is Gemini the lovers so it could be the Gemini or a Le king of um, swords is Gemini but don't exclude Libra or um, 
uh, Aquarius, okay? Now. So don't fe uh, take that rest. Think about it. If you need to f seek knowledge, do it. If you need to communicate, do it. But write your ideas down. That you might can put them into practice once you're out coming out of this uh, contemplation evaluation situation. And you've got the sky alpha female. So you've got the king here and you've got the female here. So that means there might be a, a partnership. You might be meeting up or making a partnership in something. This could be in love or this could be um, in work. And this partnership will be good because you've got the king and the queen. They are communicators. They're two of the same kind, okay? And the queen is Libra. So this could be a Gemini and a Libra that could be partnering up with you, either in work or in love. And Libra is always weighing things up and down. That's the negative side, okay? Because they might take too long. They procrastinate. Okay, but don't exclude the Gemini or the Aquarian. But she's a nurturing, she's got her emotions under control. A lot of people say that she is a widow. Well, I know a lot of Geminis that are divorced and they're not widows. <laughs> or Libras, okay? So, she has, she might, she's also called the Ice Queen because she's, she can be icy and she's direct. Um, she uses her sword like the king does and the sword does cut two ways so c she can be sharp-tongued sometimes but she she tells you the truth and it could be hurtful so that's why uh, friendships can be cut because they don't initially want to hurt people but they will tell you the truth and they're sometimes too quick with their tongue <sighs> because their mind goes racing racing and uh, my mum used to say, you speak before you think. Uh, you know, I, di I do think. The air signs do think, but they sometimes splurt it out spontaneously, not knowing what they've said before it's too late. And remember, be careful how you say it. The intonation is important, and the words are important, because you can't take the words back. Now you've got the Five of Swords, so there could be fights. There could be fights. Walk away from other people's drama, darling. Walk away. Nobody is a winner with the Five of Swords. You've been warned, so forewarned is forearmed. You can't win from an air sign. Well, Sagittarius, I think you're the only one that could. Tell you the truth, you're a very strong sign. Aries is the next one. Okay, now, that was October. So be careful in October. You've got November and you've got the call. And I'm not saying a telephone call or you think you've got the, the calling of the universe, the force. No. The call means judgment. You're getting a second chance at something or a new beginning. Okay? And this is the, 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 the spirit a blowing air into the rising dead. So they have lived before, that's why I say it's a second chance, a new beginning. And you definitely have public recognition. Because this is the chariot, you've got victory. You're the champion. Wow. You might be moving home again. You might be moving home, going on holiday, and you might be travelling by car something with wheels. It could be a motorbike, it could be a bike, it could be a carriage, it could be an aeroplane, but definitely not a boat. You're moving onwards and upwards. If you're at school and you're doing exams, you might have to do it again, a second chance, because you might not have succeeded the first time. And my mother used to say, stand up, dust yourself off and carry on try and try again don't give up and here you've got the Gemini card the lovers you've met your soulmate this could be 
uh, a partner but this could also be a soulmate in business this could also be a best friend for life okay it could be a Gemini but don't um, this may um, Libra or Aquarius and it could also be any sign it just m remember your chart is more than just a sun sign it's a moon sign it is the rising sign and it's also planets and trines there are also geometrical um, esoterical geometrical signs and again you've got a lot of air here so there's a lot of swift movement very 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 busy and you've got the night of air the night of sky you're getting news email cyber messages text messages phone calls perhaps airmail like in the old-fashioned days and you could be meeting a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian like I said so air is really really prominent Wow the chariot is a cancer so you might have had a fight with a cancer right but the truth is coming out you are a sort of like soulmates friends partners because the chariot represents cancer there will be victory there will be a second chance if that is what you want justice will be done if you are in judicial situation the balance will be back if you're not in balance you will get balance you will get the truth the truth always comes out there you go and here you have the Queen of Chalices now did we have the King of Chalices let's have a look that's a Queen that's a King of Air now you've got the Queen of Chalices so the Queen of Chalices is Scorpio so you have Scorpio in your uh, reading as well so that is Cancer Scorpio you haven't got the moon so you haven't got Pisces okay she's a nurturing loving passionate sexy sensual lady or man it could be a man with a nurturing side a feminine side we all have male masculine and feminine in us okay focus on peace and love that is your message for the next seven months anticipate a world at peace expect health abundance and love in your life and in the lives of all others know that for every act of apparent evil there are a million acts of kindness and that's where you need to focus your attention boom focus on peace and love the partnership you've got the ring there will be partnerships in business or in love you feel on top of the world I think this is the show and tell cards psychiatrists psychologists life coaches CEOs managers and manageresses use these in evaluation discussions or interviews and funny enough this picture is more or less the same as the angel standing on top of the rock as the beginning photo and I and I put that out there yesterday and this is just 15 minutes ago 20 minutes ago I pulled this card now what does this card mean to you the man that made these cards is a multi-billionaire because it was a play a, a game card but the CEOs and the psychologists and the life coaches started to use them to break the ice in the evaluation discussions to get the psychic uh, uh, the psychological side of people to break the uh, ice well do you feel isolated do you feel on top of the world was it a hard climb are you 
do you feel alone or do you feel fit look at his arms he's dancing up there are you happy and that I'll leave it up to you and I'll close and like in every video I've done I'll hold it up take a print screen and print it out and print it on your fridge you might want to reach the top and just take that as a reminder now stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance wow well you've got the lovers and always keep the communication going that is what the air signs do okay come out of your head get your balance dee -de 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 -de. there you go I like this reading I hope you do too and I hope to see you in the life if not in the next video so my sweeties please stay safe and take care and be happy and please share and like this video with family and friends until next time ciao ciao